the red line indicates the 500 foot setback. This property on this side has 47 acres in it. The 500 uh, foot setback at that point in time would take up nearly an additional 23 acres, nearly half the site at that point in time. Somewhat rendering it useless, but still somewhat developable or sellable to another user. Um, the 1,000 foot is in the green, indicated on here. At that point in time, it does take up the entire piece of property, at which point in time, you know, we look at it, we've talked to our legal team, we've talked to everybody, and I'm sure everybody else has too. That becomes a taking on that part. Uh, if, if we go to a thousand foot setback, how many are there? 153 well sites in the city of Denton, is that what I was told? 153 yeah, well I sites? Not more. Mm -hmm. Times, we, we were told 100 acres, that's over 15,000 acres in the city of Denton, you'll never be, able to, never be able to develop. Does that make sense? We have a thousand foot reverse setback, it's going to blow Brad's development out of the water. Um, AC Adam has a 30, 30 acre tract. If you have a thousand foot setback there, it's going to blow that tract out of the water. It's going to render both those properties somewhat worthless. So but they own that land. And so the question really becomes for us as government is mm -hmm. do we have a right to go and tell them they can't use it? That, so, I mean, I just want to differentiate because it, it's really easy to, to like talk about the big bad developer. But we're talking about landowners, not necessarily, you know, the, the person that is doing this to make a living. It's about somebody that owns something and whether they have a right to do it. Right. It's not about money. It's not about making sure people can make money. It's about somebody's rights.